new segment, Hot Button Topic. Give me a graphic, give me a song. Hot Button Topic. Yes. Yes. I'm doing a commercial right now. And we were talking today. It's for, it's a thing where it's, there's a couple Mm -hmm. in the commercial. And it's a, it's a thing couples can meet, whatever. And um, so we were talking about the male lead in the commercial. Should we keep the person he's meeting at the restaurant vague? Should we give the person like a, 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 a gender neutral name like Jesse? So you don't know if it's a guy or a girl he's meeting. Or should it just be like mary or something so you know it's a woman it's someone used the term gender specific if i'm a company and i said in the meeting i was like you know i'm i I, where did they stand on this because i feel like statistically most people are straight yeah they are and so they're in gen straight gendered relationships things like transgender issues and and homosexual issues are are the avant-garde and they're i think companies want to signal that they're a part of it but it's a niche market only in the month of june but yeah exactly hello uh but it's so it's a niche market and i guess my question is if i was a company i think i would be i think i would like i wouldn't i'd be like where's the biggest audience yeah, but it, the- this and you can speak to this uh, on inclusion as well because somebody made the point about inclusion in movies, and they said, you know, as much as token, is that we're well, there's about? the token thing, but black people are thirteen percent of the population. Yeah. So, but he and he said, and it was a black guy. He's like, do you think? He goes, I always wonder if black people would be satisfied with thirteen percent of the lead roles in movies and if that's where they if that's like if it got there people go like all right we're good we got it that's all that's fair that's because it's been one percent for so long (laughs) um is 13 percent enough i don't know if that's the biggest issue is like well one the first thing you brought up is are them it's for me it looks like they're pandering and mm-hmm. I really don't like it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was, before I was an actress, I was a marketing, like I worked for a consulting company, I worked in marketing and advertising, yeah. and I hated that fucking Dove ad with all the like big bitches mm-hmm. in it. I hated it. I can't believe you said big bitches on this podcast before I did. They're beautiful. I said parasol bitch. Great, what? You said big bitches. Big bitches. Thick I bitches. can say thick, big. Let's go with thick. Just because it's, you know, hipper. T H I C C. Carol, it's crunk. Anyways. <laughs> so I hated that. And not because I, I loved the way it looked and I thought it was great, but it felt like such a, like, we care yeah. about it. It was so obvious. And I'm pretty sure, and I was the only one. I actually went on an interview for a job. Um, at Ogilvy and Mathers and they were like oh you know what did you think about that ad campaign and I was like I thought it was terrible because this, it was- called Bian- this is how Bianca bombed the, the oh, job bombed, interview yeah. bombed the interview and I how, don't what do you think of the interviews? campaign we made oh <laughs> it was awful stunk the thing that you guys have been talking about at dinner parties for the last two years it, with pride yeah tell me it went over uh, yeah like a lead balloon yep thank you I know you'd help me with this yes. Yes. Saying, um, it was not good. I said, I think it's obvious that they're just pandering because there's, you know, that's the way the world's going now and they don't want to be seen as like, uh, you know, backwards. Even though before that it was always just like white ladies with like creamy soap pouring around them, yeah, you know? I think it's called the good old days. <laughs> okay, golden days. So she was like, mm, like, no, that was not a good, that was not a good interview come to find out their sales went down after that campaign i don't know if they'd go down you know now. what's yeah that's it. But they well, did that's go down what, and that proves kind of what you're talking about yeah because brands are aspirational so people the the here's the basic logic wait am i fat is this shit gonna make me fat 
Oh my God, no. Uh, you, Bianca, every product says, but you get good looking people in a commercial because you go, if you drink this, you're probably going to be this hot, give or take. No, so stupid. why else would it go down then? I think it's just like, it, how do I explain it? I'm giving Bianca a gleeful look because I know she's I know. about to walk into For our audio exactly listeners. what I just no, no, said. No, 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 no. There was this one experiment I saw and they um, they went in the middle of like a very busy New York, like downtown sidewalk and they made a guy and a girl, two, four sets of, pe- four people, two sets, a guy separately, a girl separately, a guy separately, a girl separately. Two of them were fat and average looking and two were models mm-hmm. and the models, male and female, got so much help from everyone. Of course. They didn't think they were going to be... I, but that doesn't mean that they thought, no, I help them, I'm going to be hot now. No, I think it's that people who are attractive attract people. That doesn't mean you drink this and you're going to look like me. Uh, again, I think that uh, you're, you're, you are being naive. No. I think that you're overestimating how intelligent people are if you drink bud light spuds mckenzie's coming spud <laughs> and 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 a bunch of them. bad bitches are coming that's well, it we're, like, ba- that's we're basically the idea. saying similar things we're splitting hairs here but basically attractive people attract people yes so how progressive should a brand be and go like we did it it's a transgender couple well i don't there's a part of me that thinks people will blanch at that. People will go like, ugh. Like people are still scared of homosexuality. Yeah. And then a part of me says, well, they should, then that's more of a reason to have a trans because they're transgender cast because they're being progressive. But my next thought is I don't think companies' job is to be progressive. You're giving companies way too much credit here. Dare I say you're being naive? No, they're never going to be. They're, but no. they do try to be progressive. No, my point is that, I mean, just in terms of marketing, there's the trans couple commercial is going to go to the not the Midwest. You know, it'll go to L.A., New York, well, that's blah, blah, blah. So And then we the other one's going to go to the like, Midwest. What are the sta- aren't most people heterosexual? And someone from and someone was like, yes. He goes, but I think the next generation is going to be way less. And I, and then someone else is like, not in the whole country. <laughs> no. Like, no. I think that it, I don't know what the numbers are going to be like, but I don't think everyone is going to be fluid, trans, no. gay. Also, just look at McDonald's. They have Latin ones for Latin countries, black ones for black yeah, people. Yeah, you on know black it's shows. for a black people when they have a when they have spoken word. They have <laughs> they have spoken word break dancing or an upright bass. Boom 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 <laughs> boom boom boom. Doing a didgeridoo. No, yeah. it, it's no, didgeridoo. It just, it's a it's bass. Just, it's it's. <laughs> you dumb dumb didgeridoo. You no, I said he's playing a didgeridoo. Ruined the joke. We could have just had Whatever. a hot Instagram post there, and you fucked it up with didgeridoo. <laughs> The didgeridoo makes everything better. Neil. Not this Instagram post <laughs> that I'm still posting. <laughs> whatever. So, um, no, they just market it to, to whatever. You look at this company, Company X, and like progressive in the progressive cities. And then they go make a white, nice Christian family in the Christian ones. They're like, Christian. I mean, they're yeah, just playing. I everyone. agree. But I, I, yeah, I think people that live in New York and L.A. want to be they want to be so progressive and they think it's part of their job to they we have a platform I'm and not, we're going to use it for and but if i was running a company i'd be like fucking pla- have i don't remember <laughs> fucking pla- what was i talking to about running uh having a uh i was talking to somebody about having just have owning a company right and having to like give people benefits like motherfucker i gotta fix your teeth <laughs> I'm not, now so yeah, am funny. i your dad <laughs> I have to fucking get you dental insurance. The fuck are you talking about? That's like, so like, funny. Uh, your teeth aren't affecting how well you do your job. I'll worry about like your breath, like some of your health, right? Some of it, stuff that's gonna. They keep only you insure out. like parts of your body. Yeah, like your hands and your brain, and you got to walk to work. But like your teeth, I don't give a fuck about it. your vision. I mean, all right, vision could help me, but your teeth ain't helping <laughs> me at vision. all. You know what's interesting? There's these. Um, <coughs> 
discussions and like kind of like black Twitter, black internet, black Instagram, how a lot of these companies who show so i can't ever don't talk. stop just I please know, go it just, I can't. just go she's I can't. you fucking it's bad for the show just it's let, not it's fine it, no, it's, it's funny that you're sticking your finger in your mouth it's not that funny it is people are used to it <laughs> okay <laughs> anyways so um um what was i gonna say oh when companies show multiple family dynamics like they have a black one and a white one and a blah blah blah, blah. lately they're making kind of um they're making either gay a gay a male two men with a child like family units yeah or um a single one whatever when they're trying to do these progressive new types of yes family dynamics and a lot of people are taking issue because a lot of the newer progressive ones are mostly represented by minorities like uh white male and then an, a brown male and then like a brown child or two white men yeah. and a brown child or like a brown woman, a single kid, like a single, you know what I mean? Yeah. It seems like they want to make the alternative progressive family unit more of a minority thing and they don't want to show just like a I white. I know, but that's where, to my next point, we still haven't talked, but this is bigger, but... So what are they? What the fuck are they supposed to do? Because I because there are times <laughs> yeah, where I'm. Right. It's like so. Who should they cast? Who? So <laughs> no, all white people. And then you go, where are the brown people? Right, right. Then so they cast brown people. And it's like it's like when I used to give notes on Chappelle. When I direct black actors, sometimes I go like, hey, would you mind when you uh, come up here and you open the door and you stick your head in? They'd be like, oh, open the door and stick my head in, like doing a white voice. Oh. Or I'd be like, yo, so you're going to grab the shit, pull it, whatever. Da, 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 da. And they'd be like, grab the shit. I can speak English. It's like, like you can't win. Yeah, I can't. Like, what are you so, gonna... like, should I just not talk to you? Right. The, Either I'll they're just... going to mock you for yeah. being born yeah, white. Yeah, for like or... one of the. I, you, you can't. There's no winning. Even if I'm casting um, a, like, I, I cast something and it's like, is that a positive image for. At, for a black person so if i say no then i'm taking eight thousand dollars out of a black person's pocket right and then and there's no formula for like well neil this is one of those cases where You're the right damage right it would do is better da, 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 and you just don't i i don't know i have no idea i don't know who should like but, but, huh right uh, the image now i don't know what you know what do you do you do you more often just give it to the black person? I just give it to a white person. Like a <laughs> white, 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 white person. No, I don't know. Yeah, it, I don't. I haven't cast anybody in roles that I was like, eh, I don't love that. Right, right. I don't love um, that. But I definitely think about it. And then I go, so, but I'm not going to give this black person whatever they're going to get for this commercial cut for the greater good of black people which is like i don't know what the yeah, greater good of black also, people is it's like don't play god with this like random but thing. you it's like, but that you're telling corporations play god that's that's the thing it's don't don't you dare play god it's like somebody pointed out that people go people will yell at me if i talk about race stuff like don't don't speak for us right it's not your story to tell and then people will say you have to use your platform. Right. Why don't you tell my story, man? Kind of. I mean, it's not my story, but people yeah. like, it's not, it's not, um, thought it's, 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 you got to use your platform to get, uh, underserved stories out there or underserved, you know, underserved, uh, groups like get there. And again, I'm not out here. Like I didn't fucking write when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel?